are you encouraging, if anything, from the state prosecutors to do about that? And do you have any thoughts in terms of compliance or enforcement for folks who maybe missed the deadline, but then do register their guns, but it's past January 1? Uh, let's see. There's a lot in that question. Let me start with uh, uh, calling out the misinformation coming from the other side. Uh, 2.4 million FOID card holders does not define the denominator. Not everybody has a uh, an assault weapon. And as you saw from the folks who have registered, many people have multiple assault weapons of their own. So each FOID card holder that has registered has had multiple. So uh, uh, my point is that many people already have registered, and we don't know the number of people that have those assault weapons in hand. What we know is that it's going to be vastly fewer than 2.4 million uh, FOID card holders, and I think you've acknowledged and, and, and said that uh, yourself. Uh, and so uh, we certainly are trying to make it you know, as easy as possible for people to do that. Uh, there are people who missed the deadline who will have the opportunity and still do. ISP has said that, that that registration is open to people even now. Um, we have rules in place. There will be rules that will be codified, I suppose, uh, once, the, once JCAR gets together uh, over the next month, well, a couple weeks and, and month after that as well. Um, and uh, so, uh, but, but I also want to make something very clear. Don't fall for the, you know, uh, the shiny object that they're trying to get you to pay attention to about registrations. It is illegal and impossible to purchase an assault weapon at a store in the state of Illinois today because of the legislation that we passed. High capacity magazines are unavailable. Assault weapons are unavailable to be purchased in the state of Illinois as a result of the legislation that we passed. And we'll work through the le registration challenges over the next month or two. Yeah. 